In this video, we will give a quick overview of the Precast Vault Automated Python Part, or app as we like to call them. The Precast Vault app includes everything necessary to create your vault, providing the ability to modify your geometry to your needs, including openings and baffles. After the geometry is defined, we can then add lifting inserts and all the required reinforcing through inputs in the palette. To begin, we will go to the palette and choose the Library tab. The Precast Vault app can be found in the default Python Parts folder. Double left click to select the vault. You can see the app tools open in the palette. This is where we can define the specifics of your vault. First, we will look at the first tab labeled Geometry. Here you can define the overall geometry. One important feature to note is the height splits. To define height splits, simply enter a semicolon after each height specified to add to the vault height. Different specifics for the slab, including the thicknesses, drop key dimensions, and slab overhangs. You can also define the wall thicknesses and whether to include a baffle in the vault and the specifics about that. The joint definitions are next in the Geometry tab, followed by any openings you wish to place in the vault if you need to. You can also combine the openings to create odd-shaped openings if you may need this. After the geometry is completely defined, we can choose to add lifting inserts into the vault in the next tab, Lifters. If you choose to add lifters into your vault, you can choose which fixtures you want from the drop-down here, and then define how you want the lifters placed in the slab and the walls. In the next tab, labeled Reinforcing Properties, we can then define if you would like reinforcement in your vault and the general settings for the reinforcement for the tabs to follow. You can then define the specifics of the slab reinforcement in the next tab. Here you can specify the bar size and spacing in both directions of the top and bottom slabs, including the covers. After you define the slab reinforcing, you can move to the next tab for the wall reinforcing. In the wall reinforcing tab, you can define the bar size and spacing of the wall rebar, the general covers, if you want to include an inner mats, also if you want to utilize U-bars and anchorage in the short walls, and the reinforcement for the baffle. The next tab, labeled Style, is where you can determine the layers and line types the vault comes in on. Last but not least, in the Views tab, with the Precast Vault, you can have your views come in automatically into your plan view, with a few options on the spacing of the views and dimensioning. Remember, once you place your app in the model, you can simply double-click to get back into the properties and make any necessary changes. Also, you can save multiple vault scenarios as a favorite. That way, you always have your standard precast vaults at your fingertips by loading in your saved favorite. If for some reason you need to make further changes to your vault, you can always get your part as close to what you need and then turn it into a 3D element by unchecking the Create Python Part checkbox in the main page. After that, you can make any necessary adjustments needed. Have fun creating and reinforcing your vault using the intuitive Precast Vault app.